guys ever play any shows again? Like, uh, I don't know. It comes to like festivals. We haven't actually done like a tour yeah, like, or day or anything like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but we, we've played together at festivals and stuff. Which is cool, right? For those that you don't know, his mother is Don Jean, formerly of the Way from Dad. She has a new band out right now, is correct? Yep. Good yeah. band. Yeah, if you should, <coughs> should check them out. They played at uh, the Bell and Terra Festival, it was. Yeah. And, and we played the next night, and they were gone, but you know, right. we, were, we were real close to each other. Almost played together. That's still pretty cool though, you know, be on the same bill, you know, especially in big festivals, you know, seeing that the different generations has gotta be For sure. pretty amazing. Your guys' crowds ever go back and forth, you know, I mean you pick up new fans from her, she picks up new fans from you, anything like that? I mean I, yeah, I think that our fans are kind of a diverse crowd. I mean I I think a lot of our fans are deadheads, you know, mm-hmm. and, you know, are in the, you know, but we get a lot of fans of the dead are all different kind of, you know, <coughs> all over the place. Kids, so, yeah, I mean, older they people, go, they go watch whatever. her, you know. Right. Last night's show was a bunch of kids, which is, you know, we're, you know, we're used to that kind of huge diversity of last night, just a sea of young kids. Which is cool. Well, yeah. Yeah. You know? Well, that's, you know, that's what it would be great, going to different areas and seeing it. Oh, yeah, yeah. Every, every, every area is different in that regard. You get a whole different crowd, yeah. and, you know, different group. So that's gonna be cool. So I mean, you know, that might help when you guys are doing a show too, come around to see what kind of you know vibe you guys want to put out, depending on who's there. You know, Definitely like, affects the show. Up, switch yeah, hands. Yeah, up. you tell if people are hip and they've seen a bunch of shows, they come on ready to get down. Sometimes people come out and they're like just trying to understand what's going on, and take it all in. And right. You, know, they, you can see like this you know, kind of question mark in their eyes, and just trying to wrap their brains around it. But and there's different tracks for different you know. Yeah. Groups. Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah. Different songs, different people, different tempos, or vibes all together. So you guys don't have a strict set list, then you're able to yeah. switch it up, then. Yeah. That's real cool. We talk about the first song we're gonna play. You know, sometimes as we're just kind of walking down the stairs and stay. Right. You know, we're gonna play first. Okay, we hit that, then we just just go from there and see what's going on. If we're playing shows like really close together, we gotta keep in mind. Okay, these kids are probably gonna see two or three, four shows. Mm-hmm. Getting mid midway, we get a lot of that kind of stuff. Right, right. You gotta keep in mind this kid is seeing all these shows. You gotta keep it fresh for them. Oh yeah, definitely. And that's right. you know that, yeah. that's great that you guys tailor made the show. You know, I, mean, I don't know how many times I've gone to a concert and if the artist is playing somewhere similar, I go and see the same exact thing. I mean, it's cool. You it's know, it's still mean, cool, but, but you don't feel like it's a unique kind yeah, of experience. Yeah, exactly. We're trying to, to step it up even another notch and you know have a list of what we play in each city. So we're, Next time we're back, we know what we played last time. Really, right. we, we don't have a way to manage that just well. We just haven't done it just yet, but that's what we want to do in the future. To know that last time we were in the city, because a lot of kids don't travel, they can still see. Right. If, if, if you're only seeing shows, if your local venue up, if Elliot is opening tonight, and uh, so the kids can see, if they don't travel, they can see new shows and fresh shows every time they go out. Right. See us in the city. That's well, the idea anyway. Yeah, definitely. I mean, that, with social media out there too, I mean, you guys might even have a thing where you can have the, the fans pick the set before you guys even come out, you know, I mean, for... To a degree. Yeah. Certainly, you know, yeah. Yeah, you know. for sure. Or really, we can have the fans tell us what we play. Like yeah. Post it on our <laughs> right. So how's social media helping you guys out? I mean, you have know, Facebook, you guys have Twitter as well, so... Uh, the band does. I don't participate in that stuff personally. No. But, you know, the band has a, you know, a, uh, we're able to be accessed that way through, through, through the band and, and they can get personal messages to us. But, you know, it's good, you know, it keeps everybody informed and it's an easy way to get information out. Back in the early days, i say, I would say rather, probably more help to us. Back in like the MySpace days, mm-hmm. years ago, as far as just getting just people aware of who we are, what we're trying to do, and that, you know, first days, you know. Yeah, we were, were kind of in on the ground for that one. Right. Which really helped. Yeah, definitely. <clears throat> but now it's kind of a, a, an easy way to get out information to people who really care. And yeah, for sure. These people want to stay informed. It's easy to get them information. That's cool. Where can we get your guys' albums at? iTunes. 
Yeah, online. Or, or just our web, through our website. Yeah, we, What's the website? Scary, that way. The website's thisisboombox.com. Cool. So www.thisisboombox.com. And uh, right now we're not doing hard copies. At the end of the year, for the, we put out this EP, the first year, we'll have hard copies of all of them. But this last, we put out a record back in uh, June of 10, of 10, last year. And uh, we only released it digitally. So we haven't put out a pressing. We haven't actually done a hard copy of it yet, but we will. You know, we're out of print for our first record, so. Oh, that's cool. So it, it's a good thing to be out of print and right. sell out, but and we definitely, you know, there are people who still want a hard copy. And I still have that well, romantic I mean, relationship with a Well, you know what it is, I mean, you know, it, well, it's great you can download all the album right away, but when you guys go to the shows, you know what I mean? Yeah. What if somebody was just like, oh my God, that's, you know what I mean? For sure. For sure. That's, you know. Yeah, that's we need, we need, we're, we're working on it. I, I, mean, I, I remember having that relationship, leaving the show, had to buy the CD. Oh, yeah, you know, exactly. Yeah, yeah. But we'll, 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 we'll get there. And we want to have some vinyl releases, too, you know. We'll ultimately have some stuff out on vinyl as well. That's cool. Yeah, definitely. Get that old school feel going. So what's next for you guys? Um, New Year's Eve is in New Zealand. Oh wow! It's a cool one for us. Their first gig out of the states. Oh really? Which is pretty big for us. Yeah, that's gotta be an amazing yeah. feeling. Little New Year's Eve, man. That's gotta yeah. be a break, you know. But for you guys, it's a good party too. A lot of good bands in the bills. So. Yeah, for sure. Um, like we got the new EP coming out mm -hmm. after the first new year. Uh, and we're, we're you know, I hate to say this, but we've said it so many times. But this time it's really gonna happen. Like perfecting our live show recording. We finally got all the people involved. To make sure that the live shows can be recorded and mixed properly, where we're, we're okay with the sound quality. Which kind of been the problem in the past is getting a product that we're happy with the sound quality of to the people in a timely fashion. <laughs> right, yeah. And it just hasn't happened. We just dropped the ball over the place. But now we've got other people involved. And so this fall tour, you know, is, is, is going to be good. We're, we're traveling with more production, it's going to be a little more legit. That's cool. kind of touring machine. And, right. You know, we're going to be able to get the live show recorded and get it on to people. We get asked about it all the time. That'll be through the website. Okay, great. Right. Let's just about yeah. to answer you. Yeah, through the tour. Through the website. Cool. Now, uh, after you get your first taste overseas, man, you guys think you might want to do it? Oh, man, we want to play overseas so bad. You know, it's got to be right. You know, we don't go just right. piss away a bunch of money, but, you know, we, we definitely want to get to Europe. And, Put out more records, more records, and get started going international as much as possible. Right. Cool. Anything you guys want to promote? Anything else? Um, tour, new album, that's about it. At the moment. Cool. You guys got merch or anything like that on your site? Anything like that needs to go over to yep. this is Boombox? Yeah, you can order them, made to order, design your own, whatever, color, print, that kind of thing on the website. So. Cool. Easy. All right, guys. Great, man. Yeah. Thanks. 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 Thanks.